Move over, Noah. There's a new and improved boat in town. Today on Port Choices, we are grilling up a chicken bacon ranch stuffed French loaf boat. That's a lot of words and a lot of eating. We're gonna grill our chicken, combine it with cheeses, ranch and bacon, top it with more cheese, and then get it nice and melted on the grill. It's a very easy recipe courtesy of TikTok. You know how they just like to make shit up. And a great meal for a crowd. Also pretty damn cool looking. And technically you could put two of each animal in this. You'll just be cooking all day. Starting off, I've got just under two pounds of chicken thighs. I would highly suggest thighs here as they have way more flavor and are way more forgiving on the grill when they go over the doneness temperature. With chicken breast, you had better nail that 160 to 165 range or you're in for an experience similar to eating paper towels, just my two cents. So get your chicken prepared. If you need to trim any excess fat, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, get them into a bowl and we're gonna hit them with some McCormick's Montreal chicken seasoning. You can use whatever seasoning or barbecue rub you want. Just make sure it's something that complements buffalo flavors. Also, I just wanted to use something readily available at grocery stores because some Sometimes you don't have to wait to buy some of the specialty seasonings I use. Sometimes you want to do it the same day you watch the video. So season it up, no real measurements here, just kind of eyeball it until it looks like there's seasoning on everything. Next is Frank's buffalo sauce, and make sure it's the buffalo sauce and not the regular hot sauce. Of course, buffalo sauce is Frank's hot sauce and butter, but I like to use the pre-made stuff for this particular recipe. And this will be our marinade, by the way. This I eyeballed as well, and if I had to give a guess, maybe it was about half a cup or so. Just make sure everything's coated and give it all a good mix by hand and then let it hang out at room temperature for about 30 minutes, which is perfect timing for us to fire up our grill. And don't worry, unless your house is like 90 degrees, leaving the chicken out poses no danger. And a lot of times you don't wanna be putting super cold meat onto your grill. Now this recipe is so simple that I'm not bothering with showing the grilling part. It's nothing special or different than regularly grilling chicken. Just set it up for indirect cooking at around 400 degrees and cook the chicken to an internal temperature of 175 if you're using thighs or 165 if you're using chicken breasts. And as for the thighs, honestly, these bad boys can go all the way up to 185, 90 and still be juicy. And that extra time on the grill will help create some good char. And if you're going to use chicken breasts, I would say pop those bad boys off at 160 because they'll continue to carry over to 165. While our chicken grills, I'm going to take a whole loaf of French bread and slice off the top. And this is like one third of the way down, just enough for it to look like a boat. Then I'm going to scoop out the inside and leave just a small perimeter of bread along the sides. This will be our boat and don't worry, it's actually pretty easy to pull these insides out. Once your chicken is done, dice it up as fine as you can and place it into a mixing bowl. To that bowl, we'll add about a cup of sharp cheddar cheese freshly grated while the chicken is hot and that'll help the cheese begin melting into the mix. We'll add some more Frank's buffalo sauce, some more of our Montreal chicken seasoning, some ranch dressing, maybe about a third cup or so. And remember, you can eyeball all this because we're going to taste it before we stuff our bread. Next, we'll add a whole container of garlic and herb cream cheese. You can use regular cream cheese if you want to, but I thought this garlic and herb was a great addition. Some chopped up cooked bacon, of course. And I think this was about four or five strips. And then give all that a good mixing. And if it starts to look dry, add some more buffalo sauce in. We don't want a soup, but we also want to make sure that buffalo really shines through. And again, taste and see if you need to add anything else. Then place your mixture into the French bread boat. Top it with some Monterey Jack and any leftover cheddar you may have. And then I actually put my bread onto a tray that I can put into the grill because we want this to go back on still at 400 degrees and let it go till that cheese melts. And this could take anywhere between five and 10 minutes, so don't walk away. And having that tray there just gives it some good support so you can just pop it right off and not worry about it folding or melting in your hand. Otherwise, once that cheese is melted, you are done, my friend. Let it cool for just a moment and then slice that bad boy into sections and serve away. Oh, and my poor choice was a spicy mango by Golden Road. I picked up a variety pack and I actually really was drawn to this one. It's really good and it was perfect for sipping while I waited for my chicken to finish grilling, so shout out to them. Hey, this is Poor Choices. We have a Patreon linked down in the description. One dollar a month is all we ask for. It helps go a long way in these here inflated times. And I hope you enjoy this recipe and I apologize to all of you who are going to be making this nonstop because guess what? You don't have to just make this on the grill. You could totally just do this in your kitchen and it'll still be just as good. So enjoy and I'll see you back here next time.